Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to download all of the essential sounds and the sounds that comes with Logic Pro X. And then we're going to move all of these sounds to an external hard drive. And this is just because all of these sounds, they can be, it, it, it's really huge. It takes up around 50 gig or something like that. So we don't want to have all of these files sitting on our computers SSD uh, hard drive because that's that's taking up too much space and SSD hard drives nowadays are pretty small so it's a lot better to have them actually on uh, external hard drive so let's open up Logic Pro X and see what sounds we have installed on our system right now and when you download Logic Pro X from App Store first sounds it's the essential sounds and they are always going to be installed in the beginning. So you're always going to have these sound in installed on your computer when you're opening up Logic Pro X for the first time. So then we have a lot of different optional sounds that you can install and you can choose whatever sounds you want to have. But uh, since we're going to move all of these files to an external hard drive, that's a lot bigger in space. So I'm going to choose the select all uninstalled. And as you can see, it's a 37 gigs download. It can depend on whatever version you're using. It can be smaller, it can be larger than that. But as you can see, installation requires 52 gigs. And on my computer, I have a 256 gigabyte SSD. So that will take up like a fifth uh, of my whole hard drive space. So that is why I want to move it to an external hard drive. So I'm going to choose all of these uninstalled sounds. And as you can see, there are some legacy and compatibility sounds here. And this is basically just sounds from older Logic Pro versions like eight and nine and i'm going to choose them too because there are some cool apple loops here that i know of so i'm going to take everything and as you can see 68 gigs now so that it's really big so let's install this and we're going to come back later when all of these are downloaded to our computer and installed and we're going to make the move to an external hard drive all right, so everything is now installed on Logic. Uh, we can see that on Logic Pro X here, sound library and open sound library manager. And as you can see, everything here is installed. So now we're gonna go and install an app called Symbolic Linker. And you can just Google that. You will find, I think you will find this website, Mac Update. And you can just go ahead and download this app. Then, you're gonna get this one like this and we're gonna have to see our installation instructions here for the symbolic linker so as i can see here open the folder titled, titled library so we're gonna do that to go computer macintosh library then we should have a folder called services. And as you can see, we don't have any folder called services. So as it says here, if the folder doesn't exist, then make one with exactly the same name. So we're gonna go and create a new folder. You have to type in your system password and we're gonna create a folder called services. And in this folder, we're gonna copy this symbolic linker service app. So let's do that. All right. Yeah. Then we're gonna go and run this symbolic linker. Press open. And now you can see if we right click something like whatever file there is, you can make a symbolic link of that file. All right. So now we have the symbolic linker application installed. So 
now we have to locate this original sound library files from logic and they are stored in macintosh hd so you can just go and press computer and then choose macintosh hd then we're gonna go to library and we have two locations where the biggest sound library files are located in so first is in application support and then the logic folder and this folder is pretty big it's almost the full sound library here so it's 43 gigs somewhere around that so what we're gonna do here we're gonna take this folder and copy this folder over to our external hard drive so i have a lazy hard drive here and i've created a folder inside it and copied over this logic folder as you can see here so uh, basically what you're gonna do here is take this logic folder press command c and then you're gonna go to your external hard drive and press command v to paste that and you're gonna go do the same thing with the second location which is in library so you have to go back one step then go to audio and apple loops and this folder has around 5 gig so let's see like this folder for instance has just 3 megabytes so it's not worth it to move that folder so same thing here you just do the same thing take the Apple Loops folder here, press Command C, go to your external hard drive, press Command V to copy it. When you're done with that, and you have both of these folders in your external hard drive, you're just gonna go to one of those first. So let's go to the Apple Loops, and you're gonna have this make symbolic link option here. So let's go ahead and click that. It's gonna create a folder here with a little arrow here on the folder so let's do the same thing with logic folder like that so what we're gonna do now we're gonna take this apple loop simlink folder press command c and we're gonna go to our original location on our internal hard drive and press command v to paste this simlink folder instead so now you can take this Apple Loops original folder and delete it. So you have to authenticate every time you do something inside the Macintosh HD location. So when we get rid of the original folder, we're gonna go and rename this Simlink folder to Apple Loops. So it has to has, have the same name as the original folder name. So now we have Apple Loops folder, but it is uh, a little arrow here so you can see that this is a symlink so when we double click this you're gonna go to our apple loops folder but this is located now in our external hard drive so you're basically pointing this folder to a folder that are placed in our external hard drive and logic will still see this as as an original folder placed on your internal hard drive so this is a really good trick to trick our computer to think that this folder is placed on our internal hard drive. All right, so now we're gonna go back here, do the same thing with the application support folder and logic. So let's take this logic symlink, command C, and then we're gonna make a command V here, authenticate, delete this original logic folder, and now rename this symlink to logic as it was before like that so now we have everything stored in our external hard drive as you can see uh, it's on lazy logic and my own library folder that i created so now it's done you can just close logic pro and then you will see everything installed and as, as it should be but every sound library file is now stored on your external hard drive so you saved around 50 or 60 gigabytes or something like that I'm going to open logic here okay 
let's see, Logic Pro X, Sound Library, Open Sound Library Manager, and as you can see, everything seems to be installed. Uh, and as you can see before, we deleted all of the files from our internal hard drive. So uh, yeah, with this trick, you will have every single file in the Sound Library Manager copied to your external hard drive, and it will work seamlessly. Thank you for watching.